There is always people telling you that you need to buy a lot of colors to achieve great results with painting, whatever the painting, but you can paint with a very limited color palette. Today it's just four colors. I'm using my little airtight palette that I filled with my Irodori gouache set by Holbein. I love it, the colors are really cool. And for the background, I will be using the blue, so I'm using two blues here, but actually it's just one color because it's a cobalt blue, which is already mixed with white inside. And you can know that by looking at the tube and you have the name of the pigments, but you can see what's exactly inside. So I will count this just for one color because it's not cheating, it's just a blue and of course white inside. And talking about white, the white I would use to make this cobalt blue to make a sky blue would be a Chinese or zinc white. You have different kind of white gouache, Ooh, it's difficult to say, and some are better for mixes and some are better for highlights. And I know it's a bit controversial because a lot of people are making their mixes with titanium white, but I really don't like that. Less for specific results that I want to achieve, like here, for example. <laughs> Here is a perfect example for using those very opaque white like titanium or permanent white. I am using a mix of this opaque white with a tiny bit of blue just to define the edge of the rabbit as I haven't been very precious with my background. Just overlapping on the rabbit, it was easier for me to cover the line than to stop exactly at the edge. So to define this, I'm using this opaque white. And while it's drying, I'm beginning the shadows and the shadows are just a mix of different blues with white. I mean, it's cobalt blue, a bit of white, less, more, and this time I'm using Chinese and or zinc white for my mixes. And now it's just about values. So look at the reference image if you have one, blink and look at the darkest part. This is kind of tricky as everything is so high key, but just begin with something and if it's wrong, you can still cover it later. Well, we could say this is monochromatic because so far it's only blue and white. And you might say that I have been using two different whites, but technically it's just white. And now trying to find the correct um, value for the lightest part, you need to feel the sense of light coming on the side of the rabbit. And at some point, I think I will have to introduce a new color. And this color is lemon yellow, because I want to get the feel of the warmth of the light, but not too warm. It's more of a cool winter day with a very light, warm tone. But if you are using lemon yellow, it's a cool yellow, so you should be fine. The only thing you want to make sure is that your palette, your brush is completely clean, that you don't mix up with the blues, because otherwise you will get greens and it's not time for the green yet. And the good thing with gouache is you can still come back on a value that is too dark. For example, the light reflection under the chin should be lighter, but it's really easy to fix with a lighter value. Uh, when you are adding a second layer, don't rub too much with the gouache or you will lift up the layer below. In this case, it's not really a problem as the two layers are so close to each other. 
Well, so far only three colors. And with those three colors, blue, white, and yellow, I'm making green, obviously. And you, can, you don't have much variation possible with just one blue and one yellow, but you can still do a lot of things. So this is the first layer just to cover and make the grass that is in the background. to keep it at three colors but I have to add uh, ultramarine blue for the eyes to make sure they are popping out on the white of everything so it's a blue and I don't know if technically it's a fourth color or if it's another blue I, I don't know I'll let you decide but given that there is so little part of ultramarine blue I barely count it in my total amount of colors but I'm okay to add a fourth color, which is red. And it's vermilion red that I'm mixing with the yellow and the white to get this kind of peachy tone for the inside of the ears and making some nice gradients. And you can darken some part by adding a bit of the blue inside and you will get kind of a purplish something. So you can show um, the shadow of the inside of the ear. Now I feel that my values are correct and I want to add the very whitest part of the rabbit, the one that are catching the light. And for this obviously it's pure permanent white. The white I'm using is the one by Winsor & Newton. It's really opaque. Just make sure that your brush and your water are perfectly clean because the slightest amount of color inside will dull your white and this is not what you want. And you want to use a thick paint but not so thick that you cannot move it on the paper. It's really a balance you have to find. And if you want to know more about gouache consistency, I have a complete video about it that I link in the description below. And while I have this thick opaque white on my brush, I'm using it to make the daisies on the background and just some single brush strokes. Don't rub, don't go twice or three times in the same place as you would lift up the blue in the background. So try to be really precise with your brush and make just one single brush stroke. Yeah, okay, at some point you will lift up a bit of the color below, but we can still go back on top with a second layer. And to show that some flowers are more in the shadow, you need to use a white that is slightly dirty. <laughs> don't know if it's a correct word, but a bit gray, bluish. And for this, you will take whatever you have on your palette, because at this point, your palette should be kind of dirty and you will be able to grab some dirty part of paint with it. For the flower's hearts, I'm using a tiny, tiny bit of the vermilion red and I place it inside the lemon yellow and this gives me this warm yellow that is really popping out on the white of the color of the flowers. And then you can add more lemon yellow on top just to have some variation in the hearts. Now I'm good for the final details. Let's um, rub a bit the edge between two colors to get a softer transition and fix some details, some values at the highlights in the eyes. And in the end, I will count just four colors. Cobalt blue, whites, whites, yeah, but it's just one color. Yellow, lemon yellow, because you can still add red in it, which is the fourth color. And adding a bit of red inside the lemon yellow makes a warm yellow, but the other way around is not possible because lemon yellow is a primary color, so you cannot create it. And with the blue and the yellow, you make variations of greens. So I hope you liked it and let me know in comments what you think about this video.